Hi, today we're going to look at how to block devices um, using the Virgin Media Super Hub. <coughs> First thing you do, open up a browser, type in your IP address of the Super Hub, usually 192.168.1, and open up your login web page, log in with your normal, normal username and password. Click on Advanced Settings and then scroll down to where you got security and then you're looking for IP filtering. Click on that and then you'll be presented with a page. At the top is all the current attached devices on the router at the moment um, and then you've got an area where you can add IP addresses or a range of IP addresses and then a filter list and then some timed access rules. So they all tie up together basically. You can have a list of IP addresses and you can have a, a rules where you want to apply that, uh, what time of days you want to apply that. So let's start off simply, we'll just select that one device, clicking on that button there populates those boxes and then we just click that to add that into the filter table. <coughs> and then we can select a checkbox in there and then we can select certain days but let's say we're going to say every day all day so we just want to block this device completely and we add that rule there and that populates it in the table there and we click apply and that rule will be enforced straight away um, let's say you want to add to that you want to add a list of IP addresses let's say we've got a few devices 50 say to 59 we'll add them and we'll call them our road devices <coughs> we'll add them onto our filter page and then we'll see that we'll be added with our timed access rule we need to populate the rule again Unfortunately, it just seems to be the way the interface works. It could be my browser. It might work differently for you. I'm not using a uh, a regular browser here. Um, <clears throat> and you can apply that again. And like I say, they should take effect straight away. Um, you can actually check and uncheck these boxes here and then click the apply button again to sort of disable those rules temporarily you might want to have a rule in there and you know like for someone on your network and then you know um, for whatever reason you might want to block them and then unblock them perhaps when you're happier with them and when you're upset with them so um, depending on when you when you want to apply that um, obviously for this to really to work effectively your devices need to be on constant IP addresses um, for that and you need to know how to do DHCP reservation, but we'll cover that in another video. Anyway, thanks for watching.